My god. It finally happened. The manhole opened, guys. Like the frickin' hatch from Lost. <laughs> I managed to do whatever alchemy to open this manhole. I think it's like on a clear day after nine or on certain stuff after it's rained. <gasps> it's Rossetti. What's going on? They got a bathroom in here? I'm gonna take a dump on Rossetti's toilet. <laughs> Thermometer. Look at this place. It's pretty nice. So this is their infamous reset center. There's Mr. Rossetti's gear. What's up, Mr. Rossetti? Hey, how'd you get in here? I don't care if you are the mayor, this place is off limits. No exceptions. Look, kid, this is a place where people do work. It's not some playpen for you to walk in and drool on everything. You know what the job takes. I gotta stay alert, be ready to go any time of the day or night, any day of the year. You know what I do on my birthday? This. I work. At the same time, I gotta keep my mind and body relaxed. It helps me be all cool cucumber for when things do go down, which they will. I spent 30 whole years perfecting that delicate balance. It's an art. Sometimes part of that is chilling out, watching TV, maxing all, relaxing all cool, and you're getting in the way. Uh, what if I sit in this chair? Can I sit in one of your chairs? I don't want to mess with your chairs. Give me in your chairs. <laughs> chairs. Oh, there is like a surveillance TV. Don't hang around forever. Go on, get out of here. Give me your picture, you little bastard. <laughs> don't go fiddling around with anything here. Keep your hands to yourself. I'm going to keep talking to you. Don't hang around forever. Is it on, like, random days that he gives pictures? You're not going to find nothing, so quit stupid around. There's pizza. I didn't know there's pizza in the Animal Crossing world. Give me your picture. What? Kick me out? That little jerk. Uh, I'm just going to sit on this stump. Hey guys, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm a little warm today. I'm a little school kid. Ha uh, ta da! <laughs> I got like a Japanese kind of school uniform on. Let's check my mail here. I sent out a bunch of letters yesterday. Let me toss this one. Who's this from? Elvis. I think I gave him. I can't remember what I gave him. We'll see here. Oh, I got a ton of stuff to sell. So today I'm going to try to find some turnips. I've got a project at the, uh, the retail I want to do and uh, some other stuff. I'll check what else is going on. Mira is in the background always. To Adam, don't you think a room feels completely different if you change the carpet? Why not change things up with this? You'll probably get the suggestion a lot. Ah, Elvis. That was kind of like a complice salt there. All right, let's see what Elvis gave me. And uh, I'll check this out. Slate flooring. I wonder what that looks like. I, I still, I failed to mention in the last few episodes that I did get my house changed. It is now the, like, Japanese feudal castle style, so it's huge. And there are these golden fish on the roof. Uh, speaking of Mira, though, she was just over here. A lot of villagers have mentioned that she's been thinking of moving, so uh, she might be out of here pretty soon. Her house is always in kind of a crummy spot anyways, so hopefully we'll get a new, different type of villager. Hey, Pinky, how you going? How's it going, girl? Hello, hello! Pretty morning, right, Snoopy? What do you want to talk about, Twiggles? I want to chat. Lately, I've been totally into home decorating shows. I think I can make my room a whole lot happier by adding something new. If you bring something that would fit in well, i really appreciate it. Let me see if I got anything on me that I can just give her. How about this? A clawfoot tub or a common bed? Uh, Tangy sent me a, a letter after she visited my house. She was like, I saw your house. I know the perfect thing to put in it. It's something that will really tie the room together, and then it was just the common bed. <laughs> like, one of the first items you can get in the game. This is kind of funny. Alright, a classic buffet. Oh, delicious. I'm real hungry right now. Danielle's making salmon burgers, and that sounds really good, so I'm, I'm super hungry. Let's head over here. Uh, I apologize if I've reminded anybody about school with my little school uniform. That was always, like, my least favorite thing when you... when school would uh, come around again and then the back to school ads would start playing on the TV and I was like geez oh he wants my common bed yeah that's fine that's like as much as piece of paper or four sheets of paper um, but yeah the back to school ads would start playing and I'm like come on guys just let me enjoy the summer don't remind me that I gotta <laughs> go back to school so I, I do apologize if people are thinking about school um, let's check out here by the time I post this it'll probably be like most people will be back in school anyway Sorry. Ooh, we got a couple things here. Let's see if anyone's around. Good morning, Adam. I'm gonna be of assistance. What's new in town? Oh, Joan's here. Okay, so there isn't anyone else, most likely. Let's check out this shirt. It looks like you got yourself a checkerboard shirt. 
Oops, I didn't mean to. I'll get it later. What's this one? It looks like you got yourself a modern... Ooh, sweet! I have a lot of the modern wood set, so... It's just a nice coincidence that the modern wood chair happened to be forgotten here. Let's head to retail real quick. Um, I've got a little project there I want to show you guys. And then, I haven't really paid off much of the lighthouse. I need to work on that. What's up, guys? Man, everyone's around. Avery's doing his best to water flowers. I saw somebody planting flowers yesterday, so they are helping out. I'm gonna check out retail real quick. And a cowrie shell. There's probably a ton of those on the beach. And then I'll do the coffee and joke and all that stuff, but I do need to get turnips. I can do that off camera, though. Genji's here. Let's see what he's up to. Maybe he'll buy something. A couple of these are still for Danielle. I gotta give those to her. That one. Or maybe this one. God, it's hard to make a decision. Let's see. Here it is. <laughs> I took my stained glass window. I don't know why. I always put the baby baby Ricky, baby sparkle pattern on there. I don't know why. It's just really funny. So now there's like... Oh, I got too much stuff. Let's sell a bunch of crap. Um, But it reminds me of uh, Teletubbies, how there's like the baby sun. That's pretty awesome. All right. I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe I'll put it in a museum or something and uh, get rid of it. I gotta see what the classic buffet looks like before I even sell it. Let's give her all this stuff. But yeah, I was picking a lot of fruit last night, so I still have a bunch in my inventory. Alright. Yeah, I've got about half the price of, or maybe a little less, of the, the lighthouse, so we can probably pay that off pretty soon here. I want to see what that looks like. It'll probably have a cool rotating light at night. That makes sense. If it didn't, that would be such a waste of, uh, like, 400,000 bells or however. It's almost 400,000. It's like a non-functioning lighthouse. <laughs> Just to make sure Captain doesn't ram his boat into the side. Alright, let me catch this butterfly here, and then I'll see you guys in the coffee house. Guys, look! My tree! It's grown! I think it's like max size. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's got so many boughs, and I can sit under it. And I think this does something special while I'm sitting there, like, meditating. Help me to myself. Oh, the music. Oh my gosh. It's magical. This is so magical, guys. I'm gonna shed a single tear. Oh my gosh, the music. Graham's in the background. Gustin. Mayor. Adam. <laughs> Residence. Oh. Tangy. Genji. It's like a, it's a credit roll. Aw, oh, look at... Man, Graham is like the cutest. Look at him wandering around, looking at all the names. Hopefully you can read backwards. He's adorable. The history of Gustin. <laughs> June 9th. Mayor Adam took office. June 11th. Graham moved to town. Aw, Graham. Yeah, it was only two days after the start. Mira. It's been, yeah, she's been here since June. Jeez. Nan moved. And then, grand opening of Garden Shop. There's so many things. So many events. Pinky came. Yeah, most of them were here within an area. Can't say it was complete. Avery was probably the, yeah, he's the most recent resident. Grand opening of TNT Mart. Grand opening of Kicks. A lot of this stuff happened, like, right in a row. Museum second floor. So much stuff within June. Club LOL. Same day as the museum, jeez. Dream Suite. This is magical. Oops. I pushed. <laughs> Sorry. Well, anyways, <laughs> I can look at that again later, but I accidentally pushed a button and I, I moved. Whoops. What are you gonna do? Alright, let's get to work. Oh, should have taken off my cap. <gasps> Rufina. I have no idea what she likes. Hey there, Adam. I'll have the usual. Ugh. I don't know what that is. You're getting mocha, maybe? I don't know what a chicken would drink. Regular amount of sugar. And I'll try... So if I try a different amount of milk than sugar, I know I'm not going to get it right, but it'll at least narrow down my choices that I... You know, she'll be like, hey, I liked the milk, but I hate the sugar. Or I hate both, or I hate everything because I'm Rafina. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see how your barista skills are coming along. Hmm... Yuck! This doesn't taste right at all. I mean, you got the amount of sugar right, but everything else is wrong. Three sugars, and lots of milk. And then I just need to figure out what the type of coffee she likes is. Sorry! Maybe you should tell me next time. Aw, come on, Graham. I love that he watched when he uses the force to take his coffee cup. That's my favorite part. Adam, could you please just have the usual? Can I please have the usual? Okay, so he likes blend... And he likes regular and two spoons. Got it, buddy. Perfect coffee for my perfect buddy wearing my, sh my shirt. 
He's a total fanboy. He's wearing my shirt. No, he he found that little shirt in Mabel in the uh, Abel sister. So here he goes. <laughs> I love that. Oh, let me take it all in. There we go. Yep, nice. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I'll definitely be back again. See you later. <laughs> they always look like they're just gonna go sit down. Who is this eagle? What is that? Apollo. Yes, I had Apollo in my old village. Give me a coffee, make it a Kilimanjaro, and I take one sugar. Thank you. At least these people are very specific. It's they don't, The game doesn't outright tell you that all the regular villagers always use the same amount of, sh of sugar and milk, like corresponding, but if they give you one of them, then you can get both. So that's good. Thanks again to whoever gave me that tip, because I didn't realize it for a little while. <laughs> I probably would have caught on eventually, but yeah. Here it is. Mm. Delicious. This is fantastic. I heard there was a legendary barista in the cafe, Gustin. But were they talking about you? <laughs> you really made an awesome drink. I'll be back again. Paul. Oh. Brewster says nothing, but I can tell he's like silently bitter against me because he's always shocked. <gasps> Digby! What are you doing in here, buddy? I haven't served him yet either. Digby. One, two, three. I'm writing down his stuff. Ah, uh, yes, I'll take a cup of coffee to go. Please and thank you. He finally gets out from his stupid, uh, post at the happy home maybe blue mountain i don't know maybe he's like his sister and likes lots of sugar and lots of milk i'll try that i guess I'll, i might do two different things like i said uh, then i can uh then i can gauge what he likes a little easier some of the like yeah um isabel likes lots of sugar lots of milk so she kind of breaks the mold of the normal npcs or whatever oh this will be delightful i hope so Good heavens, this coffee isn't black in the slightest. Uh, yes, well, at the very least, the beans are just fine, so I'll make two. So, I gave him Blue Mountain, right? And he likes black. Black. Zero. There we go. I think I know how to do his thing now. Sees the customers of a ticket cut up. I don't know if I would, I'm gonna get superb coffee beans today, but we can cross our fingers and hope. Let's see. Mm, good coffee beans, yeah. Had a couple missteps there, but we learned what Profina likes, except for the type of coffee. <laughs> she does not like mocha, I need to make a note of that. Mocha, no. Oh, did I get something good? Cool, cool, cool. Something good for me? Let's check it out. Something from the shop, so it's not just a piece of crap. Let's check it out. It is cream and sugar. Nice. <laughs> All right. See you guys for a joke. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sheepishness joke is this thing you care what ails you. So, this story is from back when I was still doing stand-up comedy as my day-to-day -day job. One day I practiced so much I pretty much lost my voice. My teacher came to my house to see how I was doing. He told my son, your dad's a little horse today. My, don my son thought about it and said, he looks more like an axolotl than a horse to me. <laughs> Runs in the family, I tell ya. <laughs> Oh, you little... So I get to have asthma attacks now. Quick! Someone find my inhaler! <laughs>